This is the Padua Podcast Network. Running a Fever 248, welcome Norway. Welcome to Running a Fever. My name is Michael Davis. This is a podcast about fitness, diet, and medicine. And we try to stick to that. And we uh, talk about some fun things. And today we're talking about, um, you know, the Running a Fever podcast is now heard in 62 different countries, some of which I have never heard of before. But I'm grateful for all of our listeners everywhere around the world, wherever you are. I thank you for listening to the podcast. Now, it's been a long time since I dedicated a whole episode to a listener country, but I decided to do that for one of our newer listener locations because even though Norwegians didn't start downloading until two years into the show, they have risen to the third most downloads all time. And in the last couple of months, they are second only to my home country of the United States. And English is not even their primary language. Makes me wonder how I would do if I made episodes in other languages. So anyway, you see that I had just had to dedicate this episode to these great people. Weird fact. I've known the capital of Norway, which is Oslo, since I was very young, because my genius brother kept quizzing people on it. <laughs> so I still remember that to this day. At any time, I can answer that question. So I'm prepared. Oslo has about a million people, which is about one-fifth of the population of the country. Despite being ranked 118th in the world in population, Norwegians are ranked 6th in per capita income, just above the U.S. Now, when I did the episode on Germany, I actually attempted to hum their national anthem. <laughs> I won't do that this time, but I'm going to try something equally futile by trying to pronounce the name of it, which is Ja Vai Eisker Det Landet, which in English means, yes, we love this country. Much better than the U.S. National Anthem, which is about a flag. Anyway, I found a free, I think, <laughs> instrumental version that is very well produced, so here it is for your listening pleasure. <laughs> Now, uh, in uh, Norway, they also have a royal anthem called Kongesangen, or King's Song. And being a constitutional monarchy, they do have a king. Currently, Harold V. And Harold, and everybody else there, I just apologize to all the Norwegian listeners right now. I hope you're not offended by my lack of Norwegian pronunciation acumen. The official name of the country is Kingdom of Norway. It's located way north. In fact, on the map, it looks like about half the country is located in the Arctic Circle. And it's technically almost exactly on the other side of the world from Alaska. So, although I've never been to Alaska, I feel pretty close to my Norwegian friends, even physically. The country also claims two Antarctic territories, which I thought was interesting. 
Um, the state of Norway was established in 872, which is over 1,100 years ago. The name Norway means Northern Way, which is the simplified, Englishified explanation. Uh, check out the references for extensive etymology. Norwegians call it something else, and I won't insult them by trying to pronounce it, but depending on your dialect, it is spelled N-O-R-G-E or N-O-R-E-G. So, this is a, po a podcast about diet, fitness, and medicine, so let's get right to the health information, because that's what this show is about. First of all, congratulations. In 2013 and again in 2018, Norway got first place on the UN's Human Development Index which combines information about lifespan, education, and income to arrive at an overall score. Diet. Well, Norway is a long, thin country with islands and a lot of coastlines, so not surprisingly, fish is very popular. And that's pretty good for you, unless you come from my own culture and like to deep-fry fish, along with just about everything else. Cheese and dark bread are also popular. Hey, you can't eat all protein. Life expectancy is 84.3 for women and 80.9 for men. The two main causes of death are cardiovascular disease and cancer, which is the same as the top two worldwide diseases. But death from cardiovascular disease mostly occurs in people over 80 years of age. Smoking used to be the biggest health risk, but smoking has decreased from 35% in 1990, now only 11% smoke on a daily basis. Obesity is somewhere between 20 and 25%, which is way better than the U.S.'s 42%. And, of course, we have to talk about sports. Interesting fact, Norwegian skier Marit Bjorgen is the most successful Winter Olympian of all time with a total of 15 medals. But the most popular sport is association football, which we call soccer. But that's just the most popular sport to play. The most popular spectator sports are biathlon and cross-country skiing. Biathlon is the one where you, that's the weirdest sport ever, I think, where you, you carry a rifle and cross-country ski and shoot. <laughs> it's weird. But you know what? It's interesting. That makes it interesting. You know, I think Norway is a place I'd like to live. Um... I don't think cities should have more than a million people. I mean, I wouldn't want to live in a city with that many people. The weather is surprisingly pretty decent. Um, the Gulf Stream makes it warmer than you might think. Now, I don't really like hot weather anyway, so that's fine if it's cool. And from the pictures I've seen, the scenery is breathtaking. I guess I would have to learn how to ski and play soccer, but I'm sure there are awesome places to walk as well. If you're Norwegian, I salute you. Now, feel free to tell me more about your country and yourself by emailing me at mail at runningafever.com. Please subscribe on YouTube. I think I actually have more listening there than even on Apple Podcasts. Um, I'm pretty sure. To everyone else, well, now you know a little more about Norway. Next time, we'll discuss diabetes. Until then... If you got the fever, keep it. If you don't, catch it, and I'll talk to you next time.